So now let's find the equation of a tangent line. So we're looking at the following example. Find an equation of the tangent line to the graph of the function 3 minus 1 over x over x plus 5 at the point negative 1, 1. So the first thing I'm going to notice is that this function doesn't look so nice, mainly because I have this fraction in the numerator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my function and I'm simply going to rewrite it. I'm going to multiply by x on top and bottom. So essentially I've multiplied by 1. I haven't really changed anything. But it gets rid of my fraction in my numerator which will make the problem a little bit easier. This isn't a necessary step, but it does make some of the computations a little bit easier. And so the derivative now, we're gonna use the quotient rule. Here's our top function, here's our bottom function. So remember it's the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. So what am I getting here now? x squared plus 5x. The derivative using the power rule will be 3. The derivative of x squared plus 5 using the power rule will be 2x plus 5. So we are going to simplify this a little bit. So let's see, 3x squared plus 15x minus, and then you need to FOIL this out. Mm, minus 5. And then combine the like terms together, and you'll get that f prime of x is a negative 3x squared plus a 2x plus 5 over x squared plus 5x squared. Now I was asked for the equation of a tangent line at this point, negative 1, 1. So looking at this point, my x coordinate was negative 1. And so that's what I need to plug in the derivative to get the slope of my tangent line. Is plug in negative 1. negative 1 squared plus 5 times negative 1 all squared. And if you compute the numerator, you'll see that you get 0. So this slope of our tangent line will be 0. So I've got my slope for my line, and I've got my point being negative 1, 1. So now you write the equation of the tangent line, 0, x plus 1, plus 1, or just y equals 1. And that would be the slope of my tangent line right there. It's a, it's a horizontal line because the slope is 0.